Last year we had 60,000 uh, folks come through the doors. It's the largest show on the West Coast. And we had folks from 41 states and six Canadian provinces visit us. We're on par with a similar number this year. Where do you think the industry is right now? Is it trending? Is it holding steady? Well, we're, we went through the uh, economic downturn like everybody else, and it shrunk. And I, I feel like it's uh, starting to come back. And uh, we did an economic impact study on the marine industry in Washington State, similar to the Broward study uh, down in Fort Lauderdale. And what we found was that the marine industry in Washington State uh, is a $3.9 billion industry. It's larger than the wine industry. And so I like to say when you sell a boat, uh, you know, 60 people get a job. We uh, supply 20,000 employees for Washington State. Um, the average salary is $56,000 per job, which 40% is skilled, skilled labor. Important, we're an important sector. How many people does a company like yours hire? Uh, we uh, have a staff of seven full-time employees. We've got um, 12 full-time and we've got three part-time right now, which is about half of what we employed uh, uh, five years ago. So we're, uh, we're on the rebuild right now um, because we're anticipating some, some uh, increases in the, in the industry. We now currently have about 37 employees. We'd like to get up to about 50. What kind of jobs um, are entailed in, the, in, in your employee base? Uh, we have engine mechanics, we have electricians, uh, people that do marine plumbing, we do hydraulics work, so they're all specialists in systems and uh, all sorts of mechanical uh, uh, devices on boats. We've sort of come through this, uh, we, we believe, as a downturn for the last few years. And um, at the Seattle Boat Show this year, it's been very positive. Uh, people seem to be wanting to repair their boats. The biggest thing I'm noticing this year is uh, that people are getting to have better attitudes and they're looking forward to getting on the water and, and um, starting to have some fun. Uh, not so much doom and gloom as we've seen in the past. The marinas are doing well for the first time in the five years I've run them. Our Dock Street Marina is completely full, no vacancies. Our dry stack, we haven't had the 30 or 40 boats leave in the winter time. We're completely full and our Delin Docks is holding at 97% occupancy. It's been a really good year. Would you say that you feel positive about the trends right now and where the industry is going? You know, I do feel positive. What we're trying to do uh, on a local level uh, is to get the state of Washington to relax uh, the pilotage, the cruising permits, uh, towards the larger boats, relax some of the um, the rules against uh, corporate yachts that uh, are coming into our area to allow them to cruise here, come and spend their money here, do their refits here, and enjoy our waters. So uh, we're working with uh, the NMTA, the Northwest Marine Trade Association, and working with Olympia, which is the state capital, to relax some of those laws uh, we're moving the pilotage laws from 500 tons up to 250. We're making cruising permits available to corporate yachts so they can come here and enjoy our waters and spend their money here. The builders are coming back now and they're starting to build boats and when you build a big boat in the bigger yards, you know, 200 guys get a job. We have numbers to back up the fact that boating means business in our area and that these two specific issues would mean $29 million in new dollars for the state's economy. How does that affect a business like yours, Jim? That'll provide us an opportunity to have more boats being able to stay here longer. We'll be, we will in turn be bringing more trained crew on board, be able to service these vessels, and uh, that'll bring more tax dollars into the state, employ more people, uh, which will be in the economy. And it'll also mean that the folks that own those boats are gonna be bringing their guests to town to be on the boat, to shop, to rent cars, buy airplane tickets. So overall, it's a huge impact to Washington State. Where are these bills right now in the pro uh, process? We have, uh, the pilotage is probably the farthest along and we have uh, commitments from both the Pilotage Association uh, and others that they're in agreement with us and they wanna raise the uh, tonnage rules for boats coming into these waters that would require a pilot. So that one's probably the farthest along. The, uh, the bills that involve the cruising permits uh, is put together and it's in Olympia 
and we're looking for more support to get that through. I think that folks are getting the word out there that Washington State's a beautiful place to take your boat. We've got a lot of uh, world-class cruising grounds. We've got uh, really highly skilled workers here, and we're able to put together a pretty good product in a fast amount of time, get folks on the water and out uh, spending money.